Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and firstly I just want to apologise for the lack of videos recently, it's been a bit of a stressful few weeks for me, um, as I'm sure most of you know earlier in the summer I had to have quite a big operation and because of that every three months I have to have a checkup and it's been three months since the operation now so recently I had to have my first checkup. So a couple of weeks ago I flew back to Berlin to have a CT scan and then last week I had to fly back to Berlin again to see my doctor and now for the last few days I've been nervously waiting to hear back about the results of the CT scan and I'm actually still waiting, it should be any day now. So I haven't really done much work on Equilinox recently unfortunately but now that those checkups are out of the way I think it's finally time to set a new release date for Equilinox and start really moving towards getting this game released so hopefully I can make the first steps towards that today. So I've just spent all morning planning out the schedule between now and the release of the game, just working out everything that still needs to get done, when I need to release certain things, like when the Steam page has to go live, when the website needs to go live, which videos I'm going to release when, and all the marketing I'm going to do, and I've just been planning it all out in my calendar here. And um, I also set temporarily set a release date which I'm going to start working towards and if everything goes well this week I think I'll probably make it the official release date. <laughs> so one of the first priorities for the next weeks is to get the Equilinox website up and running and um, I want to rework the design for the Equilinox landing page which you can see here because I'm not totally happy with it yet. Um, I've just been having a look through other websites from other indie games to see um, how they've done it and theirs just look so much more professional. So I'm going to try and rework the design. It would obviously be easier if I actually got a website designer to help me here, but at the same time I do also want to learn it myself. And one of the reasons for doing this project in the first place um, was to learn more and get more experience for future projects. So I do want to try and do it myself and get a bit more experienced with design. But yeah, at the moment I'm just looking through other websites to see how they've done things and trying to read up a bit about design. So I've been doing lots of planning for the landing page this afternoon and um, I've created some rough drafts on paper here. I've been trying out various colours and designs and fonts and stuff and um, I think I've got a few nice ideas. Um, I'll try and create a bit more of a final draft tomorrow and actually like create the design in GIMP. Um, but I'm quite happy with how it's going, I think it's going to look a lot nicer than before. But anyway, I'm pretty much finished for today now and I'm just going to finish off the afternoon by going for a nice run by the sea. So it's Wednesday morning now, I didn't really get anything done yesterday because I finally heard back from the doctor and it was mostly positive news, um, it wasn't quite the news I was hoping for though. The doctor said that the scan results overall were fine but there was one thing that she wants to keep her eye on and I have to have another scan in three months to check whether it's related or not to the tumour that I had. So. A little bit annoying because I was really hoping that I could just be done with this but it is what it is I can't really do anything about it now and um, I just have to try and forget about it for the next three months and at least I now know that I don't have any appointments in the next three months so I can definitely start planning out the schedule for the release of Equilinox. So yeah yesterday I didn't really get anything done um, I went and spent some time with friends just because I didn't want to be sat at home alone thinking about it all but today I'm getting back to work and I'm going to be doing some bug fixes. So getting straight to work on the bug fixes today and I plan to do one full day of bug fixes every week until the release of Equilinox so that I can keep on top of all the bug reports and the suggestions that I get back from the Patreon supporters. And the first issue to fix today was that on wider displays the size of the sky quad uh, wasn't being calculated correctly so it looked like the sky wasn't covering the entire display. So I've just tweaked the calculation for determining the size of the quads and it now takes the aspect ratio of the display into account, so that's now looking a lot better. 
Next up, I've been fixing yet another bug to do with the hunting behavior, which has been causing me so many problems. Um, hopefully this will be the last one. And this time the issue was to do with the animals that are fleeing. They would sometimes flee straight off the edge of the world like this, and then that would cause loads of problems when they then died and the meat spawned outside the world. Um, it would sometimes cause the game to crash. So I've just been fixing their AI, and now if the animals flee too close to the edge of the world, like these sheep here, they then turn and run parallel to the edge instead of just plunging straight off it. So I'm just going to stop for a quick lunch break now and then I'll be back to bug fixing this afternoon. First up this afternoon I just fixed a bug to do with the growing and scaling of plants in Aquilinox. So this little tree sapling here, um, if I close the game and restart it, you'll see that there's an issue with the scaling calculation and the plant, the tree, is now too small to even see. It is still there, it's just very, very small, and you won't see it again until it reaches the next growth stage um, when the scale is recalculated. So it was just an issue with the scaling calculation when the game loads, and that is now fixed. Finishing up for the day now, and I've just been trying to cross off a few more bug fixes off the to-do list. Um, so for example, there was just an issue to do with the filtering options in the shop. Some species weren't showing up when you would expect them to. So for example, the grass tuft wasn't showing up uh, previously when I searched for species that could live in the grassland. So I've just slightly changed the way that the filter works and uh, corrected that issue. This morning I'm getting back to work on doing the designs for the Equilinox landing page and I've just seen something on another website which I thought looked quite cool which is on the Scrap Mechanic website. In the background here you can see that they've got a really nice parallax effect with multiple layers which creates quite a cool looking 3D effect and I thought it would be nice to have something like that at the top of the Equilinox landing page instead of just having this still background image. So that's something to think about. Uh, but for now I've been planning out the rest of the landing page. So at the top, um, it's not really on the design, but you'd have that parallax effect and the logo and links to buy the game. Then you'll scroll down and you'll see the trailer here. Uh, underneath that there's a bit of information about the game and some GIFs. Then there's this transition, which I need to create. This is just a rough draft. And then underneath that there's the screenshot section. And there'll be some other sections underneath, but I haven't added them into the design yet. So I think it looks quite nice. Um, it's definitely a little bit more professional than the current version that I have. And the first thing that I need to do for it now is to create a proper version of that transition image. It's 12 o'clock now and I've just finished creating the design for this transition here, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, it took a long time though, it took almost two hours. Um, I just kept trying different ways of doing it before I eventually got it right, but I'm pretty pleased with it. Progress this afternoon has been a little bit slower. I've been trying to finish off the design for the landing page and I've just been doing the final sections and I'm still working on them. Um, I've tried quite a few different things, but um, I've made a bit of progress. I'll finish it off tomorrow, but for now I'm going to stop. I'm going to have a quick dinner and then later this evening I'm going to Malmö to a friend's birthday party. It is 11 o'clock on a rather gloomy Friday morning and nothing really exciting planned for today. I've just been doing some editing for the Devil video this morning and then this afternoon I'll probably do a bit more work on the websites and maybe a bit of balancing work in Equilinox. So that is pretty much going to be it for this week's video and it's been a good week. I've got quite a lot of planning done and as I mentioned earlier in the video I am now going to set a new release date for Equilinox and that is going to be the 23rd of November. And I've given myself a bit more time than I did the last time that I set a release date, just over six weeks I think, um, but I didn't want it to be too stressful and too rushed, and there's absolutely no need to rush either. So yeah, in the next weeks I'm going to be obviously doing lots of planning and preparing for the release, but for this week that is it. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already, 
have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time.